Hello guys and welcome back to the channel for another game this very new year with me Spacefish. Um, firstly, I'd like to wish all of you guys a happy new year 2020 as this is pretty much the first recording that I'm doing this year. Um, I hope you've all had a very wonderful start into the new decade, I certainly have. And I'm very happy to finally be back with you guys. Um, it's been a long up and down for me, as you obviously probably can tell. I was initially start looking to start up back end of last year, but well, thanks to real life that got delayed another five times, which is uh, why, well, after another good bit of time, I'm now finally here to get this YouTube channel back and going. Um, now, as I already mentioned, I want to play a good bit more games on this channel. And um, I've historically kind of been struggling to identify games that I'd really, really like to play on the channel for you guys, with you guys. Um, and now I've recently looked at my Steam library and, well, it was pretty empty. I looked at the Steam shop and, um, well, ever since my library has kind of exploded. So um, there's definitely a good bit of serious um, channel, uh, channeled into the channel, no. Um, there's definitely a good bit of series that are upcoming on this channel on new games. Um, as you can see here today, we've got Transport Fever 2 for you. And this is a game I'm actually really, really hyped for. I've literally seen this game for like a minute on YouTube. I've just seen that it existed. I've seen how incredibly beautiful this game is. Um, and I've, you, you guys must know, back when I was still a good bit younger, I really, really loved to play uh, Sid Meier's Railroads, um, which is a good bit uh, back now. I think uh, it's probably like 10, 15 years old. I don't even know. Um, but it's always been a nice game. It's always had these loving graphics that I actually found this game has as well. And um, there's tons of stuff to do. There's tons of ways to transport things and uh, grow stuff and upgradeability and um, actual progression through the decades. Like, I'm actually super hyped for this thing. Um, so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. I hope you guys are as well. And without further ado, let's get into the game. Um, so what I was thinking is we're going to start with a campaign, uh, go through that for a bit. And once we're done with that, I'm probably just going to um, create a, my own free game, like one or two of them, and um, just play around with that a little bit as well. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. And um, Mankind is constantly well. creating amazing new inventions. Get involved in rapid technological progress and ensure smoothly running transportation in different regions of the world. Right. So that speaker just... Uh, well, started speaking up right at the say uh, at the perfect time, but um, apparently we have three campaigns here. Um, as I said, I intentionally only looked uh, into a YouTube video of this for like one minute because I kind of want to start this on a blank canvas with you guys as well. I think that's always um, just a nicer way of doing videos because as opposed to me already having played everything and kind of knowing everything, I'm just discovering this game together with you, which. I feel is always a nicer way of doing things. So um, that's the way I'm going to do it in this game, and that's the way I'm going to do it with a lot of other games as well. Now, obviously, some of my games I've already kind of got some experience in, so that's going to be a dif different matter. But whenever it is possible, I want to um, do this stuff with you guys this way. So let's start with campaign one. Um, I've already had a disclaimer of this game is in like dark times as well, and nothing is endorsed and everything. But uh, yeah, uh, that's going to be interesting to me as well. I guess, um, but this seems to progress through all throughout. Like I think it starts at eighteen fifty, and it gets into the late two thousands. Um, but let's see where it gets us. Uh, let's go. America, for campaign one. in the midst of the nineteenth century, in the Nevada Territory, where until recently only a handful of buffalo grazed. Nowadays, it's all hustle and bustle. Beyond the Sierra and near the Carson River, gold has been found. There's supposed to be loads of it. All you need to do is dig it up. Anyone who keeps at it hard enough will be richly rewarded. What a splendid opportunity. Okay, awesome. So um, it seems each campaign features a few, well, call it missions, but uh, it's kind of like, I guess, one game after another for a few years. Um, so seemingly we're starting out in the American gold rush in the, well, hmm. 
I wouldn't call it mid 19th century, but like uh, mid to end 19th century, 1865 to 1875, which does not seem to be much of a long time for me, but let's see about that. Um, start. I will, I think, place a quick cut here because I already know this is always loading through quite a bit. So I'll see you guys once this has done loading. Welcome to uncharted territory, newcomer. Wanna get rich? Then you're in just the right place. Gold rush fever holds sway in Virginia City. And you, you lucky devil, You've won the mining rights for a promising claim in a poker game with the Red Dog Saloon. <laughs> Soon, you'll be hauling out gold nuggets as big as a cat's head. Thanks to cleverness and luck at cards, you have a gold mine all your own. The former owner, a gal at the saloon by the name of Susie, who plays a lousy hand of poker, already took care of the groundwork, and a, a practical woman, and she left the necessary equipment behind, too. Now all you have to do is to find the mine. Get an overview and find out where the riches lie. Right, guys, uh, welcome back. I gotta adjust the audio real quick here. Let us let's try something like that i suppose that's a little easier for you guys to understand me welcome back the loading screen has finished as you guys were probably able to see and we've just started into the tutorial i guess so um right moving the camera for a few meters uh where's the shaft then oh i guess that counts as zooming um tilt Woo. discover the entrance cool. to the tunnel um, so we've apparently won a gold mine, um, <laughs> which is an interesting story background. Now here's our gold mine, apparently. Um, the entrance to the tunnel. Where is the entrance to that entrance to the tunnel here? It's actually pretty nice. Uh, I mean, that tunnel doesn't really lead anywhere, right? But uh, I guess that's a tunnel? No? Click on the mine. Okay. Right, there we go. Even though only a few boulders have been mined so far, that's no reason to lose heart. You'll just have to dig deeper. You ought to get hold of some solid timber from the nearby forest so that the fine shaft doesn't cave in. The beams will be excellent for stabilizing the tunnel. Okay. Build a station where the horse carts can be packed with logs. Okay, so we're starting with truck stops, apparently. Um, we want one here. Do we? Well, okay. Um, so, streets, buildings, um, truck station, I guess, right? Tram, road, bus, tram. Okay, um, let's build this thing then. Sort of like this ish. Explain to the sort of nice. thick skulled driver which route he should take. Fix gold driver. Okay. Uh, how do I do that? Establish a new line which runs from a new stop to the existing stop. New okay, how do I establish a line though? Do I. No? Is that it? Oh, line manager. Okay, that makes sense. New line. Um, click on stations to add. Um, I guess this one. To that one. Now, there's got to be a small depot to park the horse drawn carts too. Okay, yeah, I'll take care of that in a second. I just kind of want to rename this thing. Um, let's call it the wood line for now. It's just something simple. I don't think we'll have that many wood lines for the time being anyways. Um, cool. That's that. Close that. Then... Um, road depot. Depot, rather. Okay, I guess that's it, right? 
Let's try that. Uh, like that. Everything's all set. That looks good. Now, okay, cool. All you have to do is to get hold of a cart to transport the wood. Okay, so we're buying a horse cart in this depot now. Which... <laughs> okay. Um, this is for people, right? Yeah, so this is uh, for wood. Cool. Let's get that one. Sturdy vehicle. The transport can get started. Allocate the horse cart to the lines. So I think we need to select this. Set line, wood line. It won't be long before ah, it's possible okay, to perfect. Dig well then, good luck. Okay, cool. Um, thanks. I guess that was it for the introduction for the time being. Um, now where's my horse? Oh, I should probably, yeah. That's where my horse cart is at. Need to actually start the game then. Uh, wait until the horse cart has delivered the logs to the line. Okay, so here's our depot, where you can see the wood is already being stocked. And I, I just love this way of actually displaying goods in a game. Like, this is how, like, this is one of the main reasons I've so incredibly loved Tip Myers Railroads back then, was just this super awesome goods visuals, like, I just really, really, really like that. Like, I'm not sure if it's gonna be displayed on the cart as well. But on the trains, it definitely will be. No, so the cart is obviously a closed enclosure. Closed enclosure. Oh yeah, I guess there's open enclosures, so that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so uh, you don't see it here, but... I've already seen that you will see it on the train, so that's pretty nice. Now let me, um, is there a shortcut? Go just like, two, three? No. Let me see if there is a shortcut to actually, uh, speed this up. Advanced controls. Camera, show hide, show hide, show hide, show hide, HUD, show hide. Play, pause, stop, um... Well... Speed up. Capture, load, save. Ha. Huh. That doesn't look like there's anything else there. Cycle game speed tab. There we go. Perfect. So let's speed this up a little bit until that carriage gets to our other depot. Um, which will take its time, and honestly, this depot is already so full, like... I mean, let's see what the mission tells me, but we can probably, like... I don't know. Buy at least four or five more of these things, like, uh... Because it's just way too slow to cover all the production of that, um, sawmill. So we would want to push that a bit more, theoretically. Ha, not everything that Perfect! So... Maybe your poker partner was sharper than you thought. Despite all the hardship, the mine only brings in a few chunks no. of silver ore. At best, you ought to get rid of it before it ruins you. Luckily, new greenhorns constantly get stranded in Virginia City, who you can peddle that confounded pit to for good money. So, you got rid <laughs> okay. of the silver mine for a decent amount. Uh, that doesn't really Time sound to like a... Uh... In a lucrative oh, holy. Venture. A hundred and ten million? That's a lot All of money. All the ore from the mine must be transported to the silver mills down by the river. A railroad that takes over the transport would be a promising venture. So basically I started uh, by scamming people. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, so, guess we're getting into trains now, which... Um, just terminus stations, okay. Um, how do I turn stuff? Um... Yep, yeah, another good question for the settings. Controls... Hmm... I have, actually, one second, guys. Totally forgot to say, set myself a timer again kind of know where we're at in the episode. So, let me do just that real quick. And there we go. Um, how do I now move this stuff? Uh, construction option. 
Let's try that. MNOP. Let, let's try it, I guess. Um, M. Oh, yeah, that works. Um, what's that then? Nothing. O, P, nothing. I mean, that's kind of like very... Is there no... Can I not press like... Alt or something? No? Huh. What did he actually... Let me see. Um, cargo station. Cargo terminus. Okay. So, like, this doesn't really quite work. How do I build that now? Like, I can't build... Uh... Select the variant, which is 120 meters long. So, how do I select the variants? Is this like M N O B? Nope. Oh god. Ah, uh, la la la. Rotate it and place it in the highlighted area to collect silver from the ore mine. Um, I'm blind. I'm actually blind. Okay. Um, 120 meters. That works perfectly. Sweet. That's awesome. Requires Finally got it. Very twisted curves. Yep. Um, connect the open ends of the track. Devil's Pass, Skull Rock, and Washington Hill. Okay. Um, where is that at? Should probably pick the tracks at first. Oh, I see. Okay. So we're going to build like tunnels and stuff now, which is actually pretty dumb. Expensive. But, no way around that. So, um... What you also see here is uh, the speeds that the train can go, right? So you want to kind of keep it as wide as you can. Um... Like, this would uh, really slow down the train. So what I would want to do here is just move it, like, very far out. Then... Oh, do I have to connect it? Like, seriously? Okay, so in this case, because it's a tutorial, I have to connect it, but otherwise I would just make that curve a little wider so the train can actually go um, through that at the proper speed. Okay, and then we're going to build a bridge here. Build a railroad Bridges. That rapidly transports all the pretty ore awesome. The okay, um... A new line. Okay, yeah, right. Um, let's build a new line then. Which is going to start here. Hello? Okay, there we go. Um, and then we're going to go here. A respectable railroad calls um, for a proper railroad yard. Does this just, is this just called the genius? Okay. Um, railroad yard. Yeah, now we need a train depot, obviously. Because we got to push a train out onto the tracks. So, let's take this thing here. And kind of uh, align it properly, you know. Uh, maybe a bit more like with this, so it can go out the station Truly a bit well faster. Now just needs to be connected. Uh, and now, yeah, I'm uh, going to make this a bit wider, just to allow for high speeds for that train as well. Together with a few freight cars. Okay, let's go do that. So, buy vehicles. Um, we are, well, oh, well, we could just uh, stay with all, it's not really much uh, of anything to pick from here anyway, so we'll take this thing, we'll take the gondolas, because that's uh, apparently where you transport silver on. Um, now the question is, is there much of any inclines on this uh, track? It seems pretty flat to me. So, what I've already seen is that pretty much the way this works is you get the train and then you add carts to it. And pretty much, well, you see your capacity down here in the max speed and then you have this mediocre kind of thing. And if you hover over it, like I'm just doing right here, you can see, like, kind of depending on the inclines, what speed the train is going to go. So, as it's mostly flat for us, I think we can just add a shitload. Oh, he wants three. It's like, honestly... Why would I add 3 if I can add more? Because, yeah, you see, well, medium is 10, flat is 40. So this would still somewhat work. 
at pretty decent speeds while we would have a shit load of these cards in here. So, not enough vehicles available. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we're just going to be confined to buying three. So we're going to do that. Buy three of those. Time to send it on its maiden journey. Yep. Let's take you and assign you to uh, line one that I've never renamed. Speed. With a little luck, it'll make you richer than all the silver in Nevada ever could. And then... Here's our little train. Doesn't she look beautiful? I really love this, like, the way this looks with all the... Uh... It just looks awesome, doesn't it, guys? All the smoke pouring out of there, and all the grass, all the nature in the background. It's really, really, really sweet. So, here's our train coming to the station. Uh, we're going to have to wait again until it delivers, so I might as well speed this up a little to get it to the station. But, like, seriously, I just adore the looks of this game. Like, it's pretty damn awesome, I think. So, here's our silver, which the train can now load, and I forgot to actually, oh god, rip, okay. I forgot to actually set a detail on the line. As you can see, it just drove off with one full cart now. Um, you can set it to just wait until it's full, which, um, well, for profitability's sake, I should have kind of done. Then again, on the other hand side, um, it's just a tutorial anyway, so it doesn't really make that much of a difference for us anyways, but still. So here's our little train going 40 kilometers an hour right now. Yes, deed and, is done. Uh, oh. The first train is rolling down the line. People are hmm. dropping everything to cheer your marvel of engineering. Don't pass okay. up a chance to climb aboard and give him a friendly wave. All right, let's give him a friendly wave. I'm, let's uh, have a big round of applause. Where's my cockpit camera? Oh god. Right, normal play. Uh, you can reverse the train stuff here as well. That's the camera, right? Yep. Hey! Hooray! There's no end to the rejoicing. <laughs> all that was thanks actually pretty to awesome. You. This is actually pretty awesome. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a bit. Well, a bit frontal of a cockpit, but. I really like this uh, review, so I'm going to speed this up a little bit. And drive through the trees towards the cargo station. Wherever it is going to be. Looks like we're going to take a minute or two to get there. Right, here we are. Morrison City Cargo Station. So as you're going to be able to see now here, going to unload that. Going to get Thanks some money for it. Railway. Silver smelting is moving fast and furious. Meanwhile, Sweet. All sorts of fine ladies and high-class gents get off in Carson City. Make sure they don't ruin their good shoes on the muddy streets. Okay, this is Carson Find City, out right? Find the needs of your future passengers. Landview Slayer. Okay. Um, let's see where we can activate the layer. So the layers give information about all different kinds of stuff. The layer shows the three areas. Okay. Um, now where are my layers at? Hmm. <laughs> okay. We are making good time here, I see. Yes, they're up here. Okay, sweet. So we want to see the land use area. to the same degree everywhere in town. Build a bus stop in each of the highlighted areas in Carson City. Okay, uh, let's do just that. I guess this is going to be public transport, then. So we're going to build one here. We are going to build one here. We're going to build one there. Coaches don't miss any stops. 
Link the new stops to a line. Let's do that. So we're gonna do a new line. And I guess we can start here. Because it's so close to the depot anyways. And go there. And go there. Build a depot where the horses can be hitched Reading up. That. Coaches can wait. The Carson City bus, which it's not really gonna be a bus at this point in time, but you know. I guess everyone gets the point. So we're gonna get a depot. Okay, so it's not oh this is a cargo station, I see. Um let's get a depot then. Tram road depot. Which that should be that. Is there anything marked for it? No, okay. Uh, I guess we can just build it on the outskirts of the city here. Like, we don't really need it to be that central anyways. Let me... This is actually a bit annoying to me right now. Like, I can actually perfectly adjust it. I'm, like, usually super picky about these kinds of things. So, I kind of really would like to find out if I can't do this a bit more granular. There should be some possibility for that somewhere. I can't imagine there isn't. We're just going to place it this way. So for the time being anyways but I'd really like to find out about that a few coaches okay so we're gonna go buy buy vehicles so we're gonna go get the horse drawn carriage for the passengers and let's get like five for the time being whoa that was a loud sound um Carson City bus Great. is what they're gonna do First passengers are already waiting sweet where are they Usually you can sort of see that above. There is no pass. Oh no, there are there is no passengers waiting right now. I think you can usually see that above the uh, stations, and there is passengers waiting that will get in. But yeah, as you can see, he's driving past, and this is our little horse carriage for the passengers. Can I get? Okay. Um, got rid of that, but. Here's our little horse carriage. It can carry up to four people. And uh, it's going to stop everywhere. So our goal is to transport five people now. And here is our first passenger. As you can see here, right? There's one dude over here. Who is... Uh, just standing in there now. We're waiting for our horse carriage to arrive. Looking to get to an industrial building. Sweet. The Territorial Enterprise reports. The okay, base maybe you don't have to, to wait. No good in the area. According to eyewitnesses, it leaped from tree to tree, was at least 10 feet tall, had a shaggy black pelt, and enormous feet. Okay. Ask the reporter what it's all about. The reporter, a certain Mr. Clemens, has revealed his source to you. An old good-for-nothing by the name of Sam Hawkins. He's supposed to be in the saloon in Virginia City. Could be it means buying him a couple of shots of hard liquor before he comes up with the truth. Okay, find the next clue. So we gotta go back to Virginia City. He's in the saloon apparently, just drinking. Um, is it not this? Which is the saloon? I want to see a saloon. Morgan's Food Store, Brook of Field Goods. It's always easy to find, right? Um, this looks like a saloon. Wendy's Kitchen. I mean, the good man was happy to provide information. The monster got a few feet huh. taller with each whiskey you bought him. Word <laughs> has it that it gobbles up whole cows and picks the remains out of its teeth with a wagon tongue. Our informer thinks it's hanging around near the Ponderosa Ranch, if he's not mistaken. Okay. Uh, I guess that's up here then. Right. Now where is this thing at? Let's uh Yes. How do I find Old Cartwright and his son didn't take too ah. kindly to your visit to the Ponderosa Ranch. Apparently you're not the first to be hot on the monster's heels. <laughs> the rancher claims that dozens laid siege to their land, but just when he was about to run them off. They hurried away towards Lake Tahoe with a paper hot off the presses in their hands. Okay. Lake Tahoe. Hello. Aw. What a nice little house. On the big lake. 
looks like she's sweet. The territorial enterprise reports. The wild man is dead. His body was committed to the waters of Lake Tahoe, where it will sink to a depth of over 600 feet, be encased motionless in a block of ice, and shrink to the size of a small child due to the high pressure. Well, I guess huh. not much can be done about that. Okay, right. Uh, why have I been all doing all this now? Okay, um, probably just to keep me busy while this thing transports its first five passengers, which I'm still at zero, apparently. Hooray! Okay, great. Um, so, where's my passengers at? I, uh, yeah, would like to actually get some uh, transported, that would be great, thanks. Um, yeah. Doesn't look too great right now. So I guess we're gonna have to wait for a few more minutes. Until this, uh... Finally goes anywhere. I am thinking... If this keeps going like this... Well, it does seem this is not really ticking up very quickly, so I think I'll place another cut here and I'll be right back with you guys when we've reached our goal and that was... Oh, uh, maybe not. Um, I mean, that's five. We're not too long ago, I guess there was nothing more that was four, but now it's five. Um, a magnificent okay, little cool. City now and there we get some more money, too. Thanks to your transportation services. The locals even call it the miracle of Carson City. Hey. More people want to try their luck there. Obstacles shouldn't be put in their way. Get into the passenger business. Your tickets will be the hottest item in town. Okay. Make sure that the rest of the world is finally connected to Carson City, a veritable boom town. Right, so. In the middle of the passenger station now. Up here, though. Oh, I guess we're... We're building towards Renault, then. Okay. Let's do it. Um, first thing we're gonna need is a, another station. We're only having the terminus stations right now, apparently. Um, but that's fine. So, this looks about right. Let's do it like that. And then, we are going to need another station over here, probably, right? Oh no, there is one, actually. Okay, so there's even a bridge, which is awesome. And then, let's see. See if you, like, what really, really matters is one, the speed, obviously, and two, the terrain when you build these tracks, right? If you see here, when I start moving this left and right, it kind of varies. So, you always kind of want to find the optimal spot for your train tracks, but at the same time, keep the speed sort of at a good level for the train. Um, so, well, I'm just going to do it sort of like that. We don't really care much about money in this tutorial anyways, but it's definitely good to know. Uh, then we're going to go right here. And where's the... Other... 93k. Where is the train station? This is a good bit. Oh, whoa. So I should not... Oh, I mean, that's fine. 117, we can train with that. that. brings people from all over the world to Carson City. Okay, so we need a new depot near the line. Um, no place in Markford, so we can pick our own, I guess. Um, let's see. We are going to build a river to cheapest from much. So yeah, here you can see, for example, right? I'm playing 18k here, but apparently... See, it's got to be flattened over here, so it's 46k, but if I build it here, what is the terrain? Uh, terrain, terrain, the terrain is pretty much perfect, it's way cheaper. So, we're going to try and kind of place it here, a bit more of an angle, so that trains can go quickly. And let's get some train tracks over here. The end sort of like there. That's fine. And, uh, yeah. 
That's it. Now we need... Uh, oh. Did I just... Is there train tracks here now? No, but I still paid money. I guess that was just for the depot itself or something. Um, so we're going to need another train and three passenger cars. Which I really dislike. Because it's uh, pretty inefficient to just have three cars, I think. But Time to tutorial the tells me to do Wino that. To Carson City. So I'm doing that. Built on yeah, right. I should probably get a line first for that. Um, new line. From Carson to Reno. Um, this is a Carson Reno passenger line. Something like that. Um, just something that's really straightforward for when you look at it and don't really remember what you did there. We're so, off and running. There we go. Dead set on Our first beautiful passenger rain. train. Even just the sounds and the whistling of the engines. And... There's oh. firewood up in Glenbrook. It's just awesome. Get the steam engines in the silverworks puffing real nice. But watch out that you huh. don't cross paths with the cart rats from the Ponderosa Ranch. They're not the kind of folks to tangle with. Okay. You barely got away from the cart rat boys. <laughs> now get a respectable load of logs down to the valley as fast as possible. Before the ranchers come From back the again. ranch to the timber supply. Um, logs from the ranch to the timber, like this ranch here. From the ranch to the timber supply. Um, I guess here, right? Okay. Interesting. I guess I could just use this existing depot and then move it over there with uh, trucks. Well, trucks being horse carriages, but... Okay, uh, let's try that then. So, we're gonna need a new cargo station here. Um... This is actually a really bad place to build, I guess, but uh, let's try and just optimize this a bit. It's still going to be expensive, but we can save some money just like that, I guess. And then, this is going to be... Oh, God. So how do I lower these? Uh, OP, MN. No, okay. Good thing I totally know how to lower these things. Let's see if I can find out about that. Um, line manager, data manager, HUD. Construction option. Well, I've tried all of these. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, let's try and signals, waypoints, tracks. Oh no, that that doesn't do anything good. I'm just trying all the buttons right now, but it doesn't seem to do much. Oh. What's this now? This seems to do stuff. I don't really know what it does, but... I really don't know what I'm doing here. I just moves the dots up and down, but that's about it. Okay, O and P. Don't really seem to be doing much of anything either. That's actually pretty interesting. I don't know what to do about that. 
Um, well, I guess it's time for me to research this stuff a little bit. Um, we're very well over our time for the first episode anyways, as always. Um, so yeah, that's really nothing new for this channel anymore, but I'm going to try and find out... I mean, I guess I slipped it down a little... Uh, maybe not. Well, I'm going to try and find out how I can actually raise and lower my tracks in this case, because that would actually be a very useful thing to know. Um, I hope you guys uh, really enjoyed this first part of the campaign, and you actually really liked the game. I certainly do enjoy it. Uh, I'm pretty hyped for it, and I hope you guys are too. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you think of the game, and if you like the style of going through the game, do you like me just doing one campaign after another, which you maybe just like to see some free play instead. Um, other than that guys, um, be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, I'll see you all in the next episode. Ciao!